welcome you all for this uh, step by step tutorial heat transfer problem let us open ansys workbench okay so let me explain the problem first an aluminium pipe carries a steam at 110 degrees celsius the pipe thermal conductivity has been given 185 watts per meter degree celsius and the inner diameter is 100 and outer diameter is 120 if the con convection coefficient for the air is 15 watts per meter square degree celsius so we have to determine the heat transfer rate per unit length of the pipe and also the case 2 is to reduce the heat loss from the pipe so it is covered with the 50 mm thick layer of insulation that is 0.2 so for both the cases we have to solve it let us solve it by using ANSYS workbench take steady state thermal analysis and go with engineering data we have to add the thermal conductivity of the material the first one is aluminium and open it and drag the isotropic thermal conductivity so so normally we will give it in watts per meter kelvin but it is in watts per meter degree celsius okay and the insulation material also we will add it now we will take that later so that is 0.2 okay so insulation 0.2 watts per meter degree celsius not kelvin so let me change it so both the both are watt per meter degree celsius okay so the inner and outer diameter we have to model it by using space climb right click and new space climb geometry always change the work plane to z axis perpendicular and we have to draw a two circle so that is one is 100 mm and another one is 120 millimeter okay so the sketch is completed for missing purpose let me divide this surface into four quadrant we can go with split so by using the UV cutter we can split this line and we delete the unwanted edges hold the control key and select the two surfaces and go with UV cutter so approximately it will be around 50 percentage we can enter the value 50 yeah so it's being divided so that's it so we can rename this surface as aluminium pipe inside this pipe the steam is flowing with 110 degree celsius right let us close this space climb and select the model right click and edit it so here it comes so the aluminium pipe we will give uh, some approximate thickness so that is 1 mm and we can go with meshing by default mesh so it is taking 3.6 millimeter and the mesh is not uniform so for that I am going to give 2 mm and face meshing right click inside face meshing ok select all the surfaces hold the control key and select all the surfaces apply it and update the mesh so now it will be proper meshing right let us apply the temperature first insert temperature ok so 110 degree celsius right ok so we have to apply 110 degree celsius the steam temperature so before that let me change the material as aluminium 
ओके राइट क्लिक इन साइड टेम्परेचर सो इन साइड एजस्ट सेलेक्टेड होल्ड द कंट्रोल की वन टेन डिग्री सेल्सियस ओके सो बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग विद कन्वर्शन वी हैव टू चेंज दिस टू टू डी If it is in 3D, then we cannot apply convection on the edges. Make sure that the properties are in 2D. Okay. So 2D plane stresses. Plane stress. Okay. So now update the mesh and. Give convection value on the edges. If it is in 3D geometry, then we cannot apply here. So this is in terms of watts per meter square degree Celsius. So we will change the unit first. So 30 degree atmosphere ambient temperature. We will go to home and change the units to meter, and we will apply 15 watts per meter square Celsius. Okay, and change it to millimeter because the unit has to be same. Right click insert thermal. Right click insert on total heat flux. And directional heat flux in x direction. Okay, solve it. so let us wait for uh, a couple of minutes so it will be solved very quickly okay so now the temperature is temperature distribution is shown all right so to calculate the heat transfer through length copy this Surface temperature, uh, surface area. Right click, copy. Okay. Let us paste here. Okay. So the total flux, the surface area multiplied with the total flux that is one four three eight point four. So this is the heat flow that is Q in terms of watt. So now we have to calculate heat transfer rate through per unit length, right? So measure this edge length. So it is the value shown here. That is 0.01. Okay. So multiply this Q value into point. So divide the value by 0.01. Okay. That is 497. So let us check the answer here. 451. So there is some. Difference. We have to find the mess so that we will get a uh, more or less uh, accurate solution. So now we will solve the case two. That is, 50 mm layer thickness has to be added here. Okay. Let us take the duplicate copy for the same. Okay. We rename it to with the insulation. Okay. Engineering data already specified. Edit the geometry, and we have to add 120 plus 50, 170, and also 120 mm. Okay. So now we have to split it. Okay. So let us rename this insulation, and we will split this by using UV cutter. So what we have done it for aluminium pipe. The same uh, area we can split it, and we can delete the extra edges. That by default it will produce the extra edges. Okay, so now it is perfect. So we will share the topology to merge, so that whatever the temperature coming in the outer aluminium will be transferred. So right click and edit it and update the. So it will ask you. So let us ensure that it is 2D, and upstream is also 
so insulation material is insulated so update the mesh free mesh okay face mesh has to be applied to insulation also and update the mesh okay so let us delete the convection okay so let us delete the convection first because it is applied at the outer layer of aluminium now we have to apply 120 degree celsius inside and and convection at the outer layer okay select all the outer layers edges so it is again 50.15 watts per meter degree celsius meter square celsius and 30 degree outer atmosphere okay so now let us solve this case okay so it is solved so this is temperature distribution and this is total heat flux okay now let us calculate the heat transfer rate through length so for that we have to copy this so the maximum is 4.55 e to the power of 5 copy this and put it in the calculator paste here and the total surface area has to be multiplied right so here we will have the total surface area right click and copy paste here so we are getting the total heat flow is 6762 okay so now we have to divide the total length because heat transfer divided by length q divided by l so that is what we needed right so this is so the both length is shown here and multiply with 0 0.035 so this is the total heat flow so previously it was 400 and something now the analytical solution is slightly differs from the ANSYS here it is shown 138 so the heat flow through length uh, has been calculated by using ANSYS is uh, coming around 236 so I will show you the temperature plot of uh, cross section construction geometry and insert the path make it to edge control select the two edges and flip the path ok so that we will get the maximum temperature at 0.1 insert the thermal temperature and go to path and select the path retrieve these results so it will show you the graph so that means uh, the maximum temperature at the inside and the minimum temperature at the outside 47 degree celsius so this is how we can solve the heat transfer problem also by using ANSYS Please share this video and subscribe to FEA Simulation Engineer. Thank you very much.